you hit that one. You bet. Por favor. Where do it? Where is the switcher? Uh, down behind. Oh, yep. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning and happy Monday, everyone. Nope. Thank you, though. Hello. Good Everybody. morning. Hope you had a great weekend. What'd you do? It was my husband's birthday. Oh. Happy Saturday. Birthday. Was it Saturday? Saturday. Happy birthday, Amy's husband. Thanks. What's it his was name? the big 40. What's his name? Lukey. Luke. 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 You're 40. Yeah. I turned 40. That's lordy, fine. lordy, you're 40. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I was my like, sister in law taught me that. I was like, oh, that's funny. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's great to be 40. Yeah. 40 Now I'm 41, age. I think. Are you 41? I think I'm going to be 42 this year. Yeah. Oh. See, I always have to like go back and do my birth year and be like, wait, how old am I again? I was luckily born in an even year. I was born in 80. So it's easy to be like, okay, so I'm 40 at 20, right? <laughs> and then and then there's two, so I'll be 42. Yeah. I do that, but then add three. Oh, okay. I was born in 83. Oh, you're born. You're mm -hmm. so young. I know. You're so young. I'm not 40 yet, so no. that means I'm super young. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, I was at the educator weekend all weekend. We have seven new educators who just joined our team, so that's pretty fun. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah, great group of people who are love Magpie just as much as we do, so it's awesome. Magpie is the best. Love it. Me too. So I'm Sarah from Magpie USA, and today I'm here with my good buddy Amy. This Hi. is Amy Tells Nails on Instagram, and she is one of our educators. She lives up here in Utah, and I thought it might be fun to switch it up yeah. and to have somebody else tell their favorites and all that. So here we are together. I'm so excited to be. Good, I'm so glad. Thanks for inviting me. You're very welcome. So today we're gonna be going over our favorites, our favorites of the season, or our current favorites that we're using in the salon, things like that, and hopefully help you get an idea of what things look like in real life, because I know that sometimes on a computer, what you think you buy versus what you actually get sometimes doesn't work out. So that's why we always like to do these favorites to show you real color, to explain the real color, what it is in real life. Mm -hmm. So. All it's right. good. Yeah. Real life color is good. It really is. Then we got to know. Which is why it's great to come to the Utah Nail Expo, which is the end of September, September 24th. And it's great to come to these types of expos because then you get to see things in person and you get to touch it and you get to decide and things like that. So I actually love the expos for that. I also really love the like networking aspect of the ex expos. Yeah. We can mm -hmm. like meet a ton of people that we are friends with on Instagram, but we've never met yeah. in real life. And yeah. then you can be like, oh, you're actually my friend, but now we can be in real life friends. Yeah. Actually see each other and mm -hmm. talk. Yeah. Like you could mm -hmm. even catch dinner after Afterward. the expo mm -hmm. with your bud. Yeah. I do love that. So yeah. Magpie Beauty USA will be at the Utah Nail Expo. And if you want more info on that, you can search for Utah Nail Expo on Instagram, or you can go to their website, which is uncexpo.com to get your tickets. And we hope to see you there. So, so excited. It's going to be a blast. Look, we have a hey, Amy. I know. Hey, girl. Everybody's saying hi, hi, hi. Okay, so we are going to hop right into our favorites. Do you want to go first? Yes. As a newbie. I love it. Okay, so first things first, I always have to talk about Give Me Strength. I love Give Me Strength. Um, I use Give Me Strength every single day on almost, I'd say 85% of my clients use Give Me Strength. Do you mostly use clear? I mostly use clear. I like to see if I have lifting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can get it. Yeah. Yeah. But I do, I ha I do really love peach and, and Rosa. I'm still on the old, old stuff. I'm more in the new stuff, which is actually on mine. So while she's talking about that, I'm going to grab them. Did I not grab? Yes, I did. Of course I did. I grabbed <laughs> Get a Grip in Cupid, mm -hmm. which happens mm -hmm. to be a pink, and it's super cute. I'm going to show you the color. Does I, I haven't seen these in person. Oh, yeah. That it's is, a really cute that's pink. That's a good pink. And yeah. it is it cures to more like a, like a fair pink, like a baby pink. Mm, okay. So it doesn't quite have that bubblegum feel to it once it's cured. Ooh. And then I have on Give Me Strength in Nougat. Which yeah. I know that the oldies are so good, and I still use clear. I do. I've always been a clear girl. Mm -hmm. I've actually never been a colored base girl, but that's what I have on my nails. And I only have these two. I have get a grip as my structure layer, and then I have just a thin layer of give me strength with the glitter in it. And I'm going on three and a half weeks. And they look weeks. fabulous in person. And they're so good. Other yeah. than my nail that curls, so I have a tiny bit of lifting there. And my nail that I used as a tool, so I have a tiny bit of lifting there. But other than that, fantastic. Absolutely love Get a Grip and Give Me Strength. Get a Grip plus mm -hmm. Give Me Strength together 
You marry those babies, chef's kiss. Never lifting. No, ever, I ever. love, love, love it. Even on my clients that I'm like, I cannot figure out a formula that works for your nails. I put, give me strength with, get a grip, and it never lifts. Love it. Do you use get a grip as a structure gel? Uh, I did when it first came out before I realized that you're supposed to pair it with give me strength. Uh-huh. And it works. Yeah, it's it does. It's really soft. So it doesn't yeah. work for like longer nails. Right. That's so. where you have to use give me strength as your structure gel and yeah. switch them. But I do love on my short nail clients mm -hmm. to use get a grip as my structure gel and then just a thin layer of give me strength for that added rigidness. Yeah. And then moving on with the. Yeah. So that's what service. I, that's what I did before. And then now that I'm like, okay, we got to do the give me strength because I'm obsessed. Yeah. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. It adds so much strength. It really does. No it's breaking. A, and I also love give, well, I, give me strength is such a multi-purpose gel, but mm -hmm. I love to make glitter gels and all of that with it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah give the colors too. a try. Yeah. I'm telling you, you're going to fall in love. Okay. I'm going to try it. I also really love the peach and the rosa because I've been on this old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just love the peach is such a pretty like earthy pink color. I should have pulled it down, but it is so pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. It's like a brownish pink. It's perfect. Love it. I love, love it. it. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. What else okay. do you have? All right. So I pulled down a few colors. Um, my, I love browns. I think browns are so classy. Um, and the Mother Earth collection came out, when was that last? Uh, in, in the spring? January, I think. Was it January? Yeah. I, I immediately bought the Mother Earth collection because I love fall colors. I love those earthy tones. So I pulled down Nutmeg. You go She's closer. She's so pretty. I'll oh, show that color. So closer. I can do that. She's so pretty. Such a good one. Such a good one. And then I also pulled down Claire as Mud. It's so pretty. It's got like almost a hint of orange in there with it. It does have a slight undertone of that. But it, it has, it's like the perfect brown for fall. So if you have clients that love the browns, I'm telling you, get yourself some Clara's Mud and Nutmeg. I also, dare I say, put Cocoa Bean in there. Yes. To make like that really great brown feeling ombre. Mm. Or like, you know how swirls are in, to put Cocoa yes. Bean in the swirl. I love just it. Just to give it more warmth just to give it Ooh, more my, that depth mm -hmm. yeah so good i'm in so i pulled down those browns i love it and that i just pulled down like some of my favorite that i use all the time in fall the ones that and i already know i'm going to be using those those browns in fall for like sure. i'm for sure just going to be using them um one of my very very favorites that i use all the time in fall with my clients the ones that you that love the the blues and things like that tinker taylor it such is a hidden gem. Such a hidden gem. Here, I I'll like pull it here. Nobody talks about Tinker Taylor. It's I got a little same. bit of teal in it, but it, it's like a navy blue, but like teal. It is so beautiful. I'm going to put up, not on my Nelly right next to it. So this is Tinker Taylor right here, and then mm -hmm. not on my Nelly's right here. Oh, so good. It's so pretty. But right? these deeper teal blues, I actually pulled one too. I can't wait Did to show it. Yeah. I so love pretty. Tinker Taylor. I feel like it's just like one that people never talk about and never use. And I'm I constantly think, pulling it. I think this is the year we should make it a thing. Look at that. So, so pretty. pretty. So pretty. Just classy. Okay. And then, um, so I do a lot of like negative space nails, a lot of like art with my clients. Sometimes they're like, they pull in like some inspo and usually like it's a white background. Yeah. So when it's fall, I don't love to use like that stark white background. So sometimes I'll just like suggest to use new jude behind it oh as your cream mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because like i use cat got the cream a lot but it has almost a pink it does it does have a pink undertone undertone uh-huh but i love the new jude because it's just like your true tried and true like cream it's just a cream color it's so perfect um i use it constantly i use it all year round but i use it a lot in the fall yeah it's very much mm -hmm. i I'm somebody who loves the stark white, but I can see new jude in the fall. Absolutely, because that stark white is just too harsh. I mean, it, it's cute, and if that's the look you're going for, let's do it. I love the stark white, but like, if I can just like make it a little bit more folly looking, I'm always gonna pull out the nude. Yeah, jude. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we have a couple people. So one person said that truffle get a grip with peach GMS is stunning combo. Yeah, I'm telling you that color base. So okay. you're gonna need to I'm get gonna, truffle get, get a grip. I'm gonna get it. It's so, so gorgeous. She sold me. Ooh, it's so pretty. <laughs> um, it's so good. They're so talking good. about the colors. Love you, Alia. 
Uh, have you had issues with Tinker Tailor changing color when it cures? It went green after it cured. No, we mm -hmm. haven't, but I will definitely send that information on to HQ because they're always trying to figure these little things out and, yeah. and adjust their pigments as needed. So I will definitely send that up the line, Karen. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, beautiful blue. Yes, beautiful blue. Okay, and then, so there, there's my blip for New Jude. I love New Jude. And then, um, when did Lady Jane Grey come out? Was that, that wasn't with the Mother That was with the Cozy Up collection, which was last fall. Yes. A year. So the Lady Jane Grey, I use this. It has brown in it. It's brown. Yes. So it pairs really well with the colors like that you've chosen. Yeah. Yeah. Lady Jane Grey. My, I use this. I used it all winter. I've been, I've even used it this summer and I know I'm going to be using You used it this. as a summer color? I okay. had a client, okay. well, she, I have a client who really loves the grays and the, like, the, like, the understated, she's just very, like, she has a very professional job, so she w doesn't want anything, like, super flashy. Got it. Lady Jane Garrett Gray. All, yeah. For the win. So, so, so fall time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to use it, I promise. Get you some Lady Jane Gray. That's a good one. That's I'm going <laughs> to use, so, these are giving me ideas because next week, Rachel and I are going to be here and we're gonna do a swatching, so I'm gonna swatch Lady Jane Grey so we can really see it in person mm -hmm. while we're swatching. As I'm soon as you one. buy it, you're gonna know. It just looks gray and you're gonna be like, oh, it's another gray. No. No, it's way good. It's so good. I'm excited. So good, because there's brown in it, and you know I love me some browns. Okay, so then I had to pull down some oranges, duh, for fall. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, Ginger Rogers, she's like one of my most favorite oranges. She's brighter. I love it. Ginger Rogers is, yep, more of a bright She's color. brighter, but I love her for fall. Just to add, like, I'll, like, mix in other colors with it to, like, add, like, a little bit of a brighter element for my nail art. Gorgeous. Things like that. So, Ginger Rogers, get you some Ginger Rogers. And as always, you guys, the name speaks for itself. This one Pumpkin. major, major winner. So, here it is on the swatch stick. Yeah. And it is has a shimmer in it. Which I love the shimmer. I love the shimmer. It's so pretty. Yes. And it, it's almost like a gold shimmer. It's kinda. so pretty. Right? Yeah. Maybe. It's so perfect for fall. We yes. can never keep pumpkin in stock. So uh, I actually think it might be out of stock right now. But it's coming. <laughs> Don't worry. So pumpkin. The order when is When it in comes now. back in stock. Two yeah. weeks probably? Uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping by the end of this week. But that is not a guarantee. Let's go for next week. Next if it week. gets through customs, that's the trick. Customs, man. Yeah, customs. Jerks. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Don't cancel me. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we're going to go for very good. I love um, like a good maroon color. It's it's just, she's very good. She is very good. She's very good. She's very whiny. Yeah. Very like deep wine. I'm going to put it next to your skin while you're up there. Because you have that. Look at this beautiful skin. <laughs> Pick your nose with it. I did wear foundation today. No, it's so pretty. Very good is a yeah. beautiful wine. Almost has a brick. Yes. Brick She's color. good. Mm -hmm. Very good. She's very, very good. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And Brandy Snap. Um, Aaron over at my. I Manif grabbed that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, girl. I knew you did. Yeah. It's a good one, Brandy yeah, Snap. I'm She's excited. good. I'm excited She's about good. it. Okay. And then I, I always um, tell everybody, like, if they're looking for, like, a really good mustard yellow, they're going to pull... Piccalilli. Piccalilli is like such a good fall yellow. I'm using it all the time. I use Piccalilli all the time. Here's Piccalilli that but she's I, talking about. I have to tell you guys, I am obsessed with Mustang Sally. This is the one she's going to show you. I love Mustang Sally. So Mustang Sally, she's a good one. But Here's like two together. when you see them together, like you see how like a little bit more like brownie gray this one is next to this one. This one has a little bit more orange. I love it. All of the colors that I pulled today, they all kind of go together. Are you a fall girl? I'm a fall girl. Yeah. That's, fall. You saying that you love this means you're a fall girl. Absolutely. Yeah. Because me, who is a summer bright girl, I'd lean toward this. I, I love Piccalilli. Yeah. I use it all the time. But Mustang Sally, she's my girl. I'm learning from Rachel that if you pair the colors that we're afraid of. So if you are like me and you are a summer girl and you love summer colors and it's hard to fit in with these brown tones, then it's all about pairing them together. And Rachel is a pro at like, put this and this and this. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I could wear that. Mm -hmm. Even though on its own, I'm like, that's rough. So like, remember in the spring when you gave Sheridan a manicure? 
Yes. And you put like that really bright orange on yes, it. Yes, in sync. Uh -huh. <laughs> she was like, I would never wear this, but then when it was on her nails, it uh -huh. looked so good. Yeah, it's so pretty. Kind of have to, you have yeah. to get out of your comfort zone, people. I have a couple of clients who are like using the same color every every appointment, which is fine. I love you all. I'm just saying, <laughs> put some adventure in your life. <laughs> I'm going to. You're inspiring me, and I'm going to put these fall colors together yeah. and put them on me. Who Mustang wears bright? Sally. Yeah, I dare I'm you. going to. I take your dare. <laughs> you take my I dare. I do. We're going to do it in September. We're going to do my nails, and I'm going to put that color on there. I no, it has to wait till October because my September nails are already decided. Okay. So October. It's fine. Absolutely. Excellent. Okay, okay, what else do you have? All right, so I pulled down a couple glitters, and I know she, you pulled down a couple of the glitters that I wanted to use. It's fine. I'm just going to also say it. Me too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so... These are just the ones that I use constantly all year round. This Lexi one. I was going to pull that. Yeah. I for did. Halloween, I'm just yeah. saying. Like if you have some witchy nails that you're going to be doing mm -hmm. or um, like spidery nails. If you, so on witchy nails, if you were to pair Angel Delight or Pandora's Box and put it with Lexi and then with black to make like that witchy, oh. mm -hmm. moody scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Winner. Look at how pretty. Look at what she reflects. It's like all the colors. There's like there's like a ton of purple, and there's a little bit of green, and you know you just you got to get Lexi. It's a flake, so they're so easy to use, and you can just like push it right into that inhibition layer or like the dispersion layer, whatever you call it, the sticky layer. Um, you can just push it right in, and it's just there, and they're so easy to work with. If you haven't tried flakes yet, you got to get yourself some flakes. Absolutely. Yeah. They're cute. I second that wholeheartedly. So Lexi, gotta get her. Put her on your list. I mean, even if you're like, I don't, I don't know, just do it. You'll thank me. I promise. <laughs> you will, and then you put it on your nails. So Lexi can be chromed. Not all flakes can be chromed, but Lexi can be. So if you were to chrome that onto your nail, it's like, what? Yep. That's what you're gonna say. What? 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 And then, what? And then it's like a surprise for you and your client. It's your amazing. Client be like, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. Lexi and then the other one is Venus. Mm -hmm. And they just, ha they came out at the same time. Yep. But they're both that same type of um, flake. One reflects pink and purple, one reflects green and blue, I think. So yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah, so good. Another one is like just a classic-y, like um, orangey brown color. She's Penny. I use her all the time during the fall. So this is a good fall one for you to get. Absolutely. Put her on your list. Just put her on your list. Okay, um, another one that I use constantly, and I use, you guys, look at this bottle. <laughs> She's loved. almost gone. She's, She's loved. very well loved. When you buy yourself some Amelia glitter, yeah. you're gonna be using it. You're gonna get way your money's worth, times a million. Times a million. Amelia, she reflects, she's holographic, so she reflects all the colors. She's beautiful. And she's she, champagne, so she yep. really can go cool or warm, which is what makes her so nice. Yep, I'm using her constantly throughout the year. So this is one that you can use all throughout the year, but it'll be good for, for fall. You're going to want to get yourself some Amelia. Okay, and then another just a classic gold one. I still have clients who are, like, remember when that gold glitter was like everybody wanted gold glitter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still have clients who really just love the gold glitter. So Goldie, you got to get yourself some Goldie. It's just a classic good gold glitter the pieces are super fine easy to work with i'm obsessed absolutely yep and two of the ones that you've talked about both penny and goldie since these are full metallic glitters they don't have any iridescent in them they don't have any holographic they're just full this is full copper that's full gold then what you can do is pat that onto the nail and then if you burnish it which just means to rub in circles it will lay the glitter down flat and then it's like poor man's chrome yeah which poor man's gives chrome. such a cool effect yes so just another way to you can also wear metallics chrome this one yeah you can burnish that. amelia you can mm -hmm. burnish it and it's beautiful it's not so burnished not chrome. i just have to correct that burnish thank yeah, you burnish. Appreciate, appreciate that yeah. so yeah so goldie she's just a classic gold one you're gonna love her get her just Absolutely. get her if you don't have goldie you're gonna use there it there are quite so get a it. few gold options but Goldie, I would say, is just that middle of the road, middle tone gold, not too yellow, yep. not too brown, not too champagne. Just a, like a classic, just a classic gold. 
gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to get it just in your collection always. And it's just a good fall one too. I also like it because it's not chunky. I mean, I do yeah. love the chunky ones, but I feel like the chunky ones have holographic, so then it changes the look of it. Yeah. But if you want just that classic gold, Goldie is the winner. Goldie is the winner. Yeah. I, the other day, um, someone asked me, like, how do you use your glitters? You guys, almost 90% of the time, even if it's a fine glitter, I'm always making it into a gel. Like... I know a lot of nail techs will pour it onto the nail, like you'll do like a thin layer of gel and then pour it on. I do that too sometimes, but 90% of the time I'm always making, I mix it with Give Me Strength Clear, and I'm always making it into a polish. You prefer that way? I prefer that way. Mm -hmm. So just to let you know, if you have questions on that, I think we had a question up oh. here. Does it say which flakes can be chromed on the website? I have all, but forget which can be chromed. I don't think that I have put that information onto the website. No, I don't think you do. Um, I can go through. I can do my best to try and say, like, this can be chromed. Yeah. This cannot be chromed. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make that a goal, hopefully by Black Friday. That'll Black be, Friday! That'll be the goal. Another reason why I love fall so much. The fall is great. What does burnish mean? Never heard that before. Burnish means to rub in circles. So you would just take the applicator brush, and you would get some glitter, and then put that onto the nail and then wipe off the excess out of your brush and then just by rubbing in circles gently i'm using very light pressure i can even show you up here very light pressure just rub it in circles and that will lay the glitter flat and especially with a holographic like amelia you're going to immediately see that that linear aura becomes like whoa that was crazy yeah. or if we're talking about goldie or penny that are those um metallic glitters it's going to lay down and almost make like that crazy reflect, reflective chrome kind of look. So it is a poor man's chrome. So that's what it means to burnish. You just rub like this. So good. So good. So good. Okay, I use black a lot in my designs in the fall, especially for like Halloween and October time. So I had to pull down Eartha and talk about Eartha. Eartha is like my favorite black glitter because you can put it over black and you can still top coat it and you can see that it's glitter. So a, t a lot of times when you get a black glitter, if it doesn't have any reflectors in it, you put your top coat over top and then all of a sudden you can't even see that it's a glitter nail. So I love Eartha for that reason. Um, it's just, they're, and they're subtle reflectors. So it does reflect, um, it's holographic. It's holographic. So, yeah. so it does reflect the rainbow, but it's more subtle and it goes with all of just like if you just wanted like a plain black glitter nail and you don't want it to look holographic, it won't. It just has those reflectors to show you that it's a glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I love Eartha so much. You can also sugar with Eartha because she's super fine. And I love to sugar nails. I think that's so cute. Yeah. I have a couple clients that are like, no thanks. <laughs> but then some that are brave? Yeah. Okay. Some that are brave. One time I had a client and she had just had a newborn baby and she was like, I want a sugared nail. And you know where this is going. She, I gave her a sugared nail. It didn't even cross my mind what could have happened. She came back the next time and she was like, poop. Maybe not the best idea. <laughs> she got poop. Diaper every time. Like, ooh, stuck there's like in. stuff stuck to So if you, guys, if you have a client that has a baby and she wants a sugared nail, <laughs> advice against. It's not the appropriate Or time. give her a nail brush to clean. Oh, yeah, that would work. Yeah. Poor girl. So gross. Sorry. Uh, poor girl, poor pretty girl. Pretty inappropriate. So because I pulled Eartha down, we also pulled down a couple of the other black glitters that we have. Sabrina. Because we're in the season. We're in the season. You guys, Sabrina. There are so many ways you can use Sabrina. Oh, yes. So many ways. So You can many. make Easter egg nails. Yes. With Sabrina. You can do a cute glitter fade over a different color with Sabrina. Um, she, so she is just a full black glitter. She doesn't have other reflectors. So if you're going to top coat her, she's going to disappear. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. You can do tiny little spiders. I mean, that is a labor of love, but with the, How because cute. it's chunky, you could take these chunkier pieces and lay those in and then pull out lines. And that would make the cutest tiny little spiders. The cutest tiny I'm doing it. Little baby itty bitty spiders on your nails. I'm going to go home and you do know, it. You know like those little itty bitty like minuscule spiders that you're like, are you a spider or are you a bug? Either way, I'm smashing you, right? That bug. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Sabrina is a full black. So you She's can't put her over black polish and then and then top coat because it will disappear. Yeah. However, she can be faded over other colors. Yep. Um, used She's beautiful. In spooky ways. 
Especially this ways. season. I love it. Over purple. Oh, yeah. That'd be so good. It's a winner. Winner. Okay. Then we're going to talk about yin. So remember we were talking about sugaring? Yin is the perfect um, glitter sugaring for sugaring. when you sprinkle onto wet gel polish. Perfect timing. Yes. Perfect timing. So you sugar. So you do your, your, your full gel, you know, manicure, and then you're going to do a tack-free top coat. You're not going to cure it, and then you're going to pour it over top of that. Then you'll cure it for the full amount of time, and then when you're done, you'll just take magic. Your, when when you come out after curing the full time, you'll take your duster brush and just vigorously brush away any of the loose glitter. Yes. And I do mean vigorously. You have to get it out of the sidewalls, out of the cuticle, off the skin, like vigorous. And then left behind is that sugared. That sugared, and so she's super fine, so pretty. So Yin is a good black one for that too. So she's even finer than Eartha is. Yeah, she's good. Which is a good one. We also have a white one. What's yeah, the it's white called one? Yang. Yeah. Yin and Yang, baby. Yin and Yang. <laughs> I love it. So Yin and Yang, but Yin in black. It's a good one. Okay. Then we're going to talk about Raven. And she's good. She's like a irregular, chunky glitter. Um, and again, you can do some fun things. Kind of like what you would do with Sabrina. She doesn't reflect yeah. other colors, so you couldn't just like do like a top coat over top of it, but it like cute, like little. You could even do, this was part of the terrazzo collection. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking about Rachel and how she makes those terrazzo designs. So this would be a yeah. great fall terrazzo. You would put the black in there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Rachel, that's With Lady assignment. Jane Grey, Misty Morning as your background and then put that in it. Winner, winner. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every time you say that, I want to say chicken dinner. <laughs> okay, this one's called Sorrow. Sparrow. Sparrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a day. <laughs> Close. Sparrow. And she's pretty. She's black, but she also reflects all the other colors. And she's like irregular, chunky, just like um, Raven. Raven. Mm -hmm. So she's, was she part of the Terrazzo uh -huh. collection? She, yeah. Yep. There you go. Sparrow. Not Gorgeous. sorrow. She's not sad. Uh, also, you sprinkle it into the top coat. Sprinkle it into That's the top coat. for the sugaring. Yes. Top coat. Yes. Top coat. If you put it into the gel color, gel color doesn't have enough of a strong grip. Grip. Uh, not grip, but like when it cures, it has a tacky layer and it doesn't ha it doesn't have that finishing mm -hmm. top coat rigidness. Like, How do you say that? Rigidness is good. Like so strongness. You need yeah. to finish the manicure by putting on magpies, top it off. Mm -hmm. Then before you cure, you pour it on, give it a full cure vigorously wipe away and then your your sugar is ready yep that's what you do yep excellent that's Great. what i got you have such good ones thank you all right here we go i'm gonna go backwards and i'm gonna start with nail art supplies so first we have this weekend at the magpie educator program so every year we have an educator program where we invite people to apply for the opportunity to become brand educators with our team and this past weekend we had seven beautiful people join us and they became educators. So while we were doing all of the education for them, we played around with the new Muttley, Pluto, and what's the third one? Muttley, Pluto, and who are you? Scooby. Scooby. I knew Snoopy was white and then I couldn't think of another dog. Scooby. There you go. These are the cute hound's tooth and they are really cute. They came up with some great designs using these foils. So I super think, I, I super love these for fall. Then of course, a must have is Rory. Gotta have Rory her. Rory is a very cute leopard print and this makes the cutest addition to all nail art. However, when we were talking about leopard print uh, pumpkins. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. you. Oh, I'm so glad you're here today. <laughs> okay, so Rory, absolutely. Always a winner. And then moving on to glitters, we have Beth. Beth is a mermaid glitter. It is blue, but look at all of that. Talk Don't about cute witchy it? nails. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I just can't get enough. She's cute. I become mesmerized when it has that holographic aura. But Beth, such a winner. It's like a hypnotizing Absolutely. Effect. Yep. Then there's Jenna. Jenna, yeah. G-E-N-N-A. 
G-E-N as in Nancy, N-N-A. Jenna is a rust-colored glitter, so perfect for fall. It's going to marry so good with colors like Berry Good or Ginger Spice or All About Mimi or Mrs. Mulberry, any of those. Jenna is going to have such a gorgeous pairing with. Beautiful. She's pretty. She pretty. Then we have Jessica. My, who I was is, gonna pull her. Mm -hmm. One of my all-time favorites. Holographic orange. I mean, what better time to use it than in the fall? Yes, get it. And this is a fine glitter, and so is Jenna. So these are gonna pat really nicely just right into the tacky layer. Then we have my most favorite combination, which is Beatrice and Eugenie or Eugenie. Uh, <laughs> if you're in if you're in the UK, it's Eugenie. And if you're in America, it's Eugenie. So you choose which way you want to say it. So this is Halloween in a bottle. That's from the Sisters Collection. It is from the Sisters Collection. And is it purple or is it green? Is it green or is it's it It's whatever you want it to be. I, this was one of my favorite manicures that I put on my daughter. And every day I grabbed her hand because I'm like, is it purple or is it green? It just, just depends. And so I, pretty. I become so like enamored with chameleon. Yes. Love. Good witchy love, love, nails. Love. Oh, yes. So good, good Beetlejuice nails. Oh, yes. With stripes, mm -hmm. you know, black and white stripes on another nail. We're doing so, it. Like for real. Yeah. Oh, and then you could even put um, Sabrina as a fade. Yeah. I'm telling you, Halloween. I love Halloween nails. It's so good. They're so exciting. Um, along the black line is Drew, and these are tiny little flakes that you can use, a lot like how she showed you Lexi earlier. So Drew is just a really soft flake that you can use kind of like Sabrina as a fade. You can pat it on, you can, you know, um, make a full nail. It does have some reflect in it. It reflects purple and blues. So you would be able to see that. And then we have one more chameleon option. I was gonna pull this one. Love it. I'm it's obsessed. Bloom. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It reflects purple and blue. Yep. It does have a little, a little bit of green in there as well, you can see. So it's just a lot of fun. This is a really soft flake, which means you can literally just brush it onto the tacky layer. And it's going to give a really awesome chameleon effect. It's so easy to use. So easy. Love Makes that. like really easy nail art, doesn't it? Um, so easy, yes. Speaking of easy nail art is the new pigments. Oh, I have not bought these yet. I want them mm -hmm. so bad. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I want to see them in so, person. Rachel and I played a little bit with them last week on our live in the app. So if you haven't had a chance to go into the app and watch our live from last week, we did show how to use these. However, I got extra play with them over the weekend when we were with the new educators and they are brilliant. Mm -hmm. They are top notch. I think these are, these are must haves in my opinion. So I'm gonna go through my top colors. Uh, there were 16 I wanna say that were released. And some of them are spring colors, so I just feel like if you weren't ready to invest in all 16, maybe you only needed a couple, so I wanted to go through them. Um, Bahamas, such a beautiful, so this is Bahamas, and it is such a beautiful. She's pretty. Pale, not pale. How would you say? Just like a good blue. It's just blue. a really, really good blue. All of these have an incredible pigment. So when you start rubbing them onto the velvet top, mm -hmm. the no wipe top coat, it just rubs in, and all of a sudden you're like, Whoa, just that keeps is so good. More and more intense. Bora Bora is such an awesome purple. Again, oh. Halloween nails. Halloween all the way. Then we have seashells. And this one paired with that Bahamas blue made for such a beautiful ombre going up the nail. That is beautiful. Oh, it was stunning. That is a beautiful blue. And then Ibiza or Ibiza, depending on how you say it, is this beautiful, beautiful pink. Like and this that. one that you put with Majorca makes such a, I didn't pull Majorca, but it makes such a gorgeous fade. Oh, talk about the easiest ombres ever. Like, Seriously. I, every time somebody made something with the pigments, I was like, I want to make that. Yeah. I want to wear that. I want to do that. The easiest ombres you'll ever make are with Absolutely. Yes. Um, I'm gonna and I love that they're pressed because then you're not getting a mess when you right. accidentally knock it over. Oops, every time. Oops, my bad, right? Mm -hmm. um, then we have Zan uh, Tahiti. Tahiti is the lighter yellow, and this one is gonna pair well with the next colors that I show, but the next colors I show are the fall ones. So these were just some of my favorite colors. Now we're moving into the design that I did show on the stories that Rachel created. Um, she chromed a pumpkin over top of these and just made the cutest so background. Cute. So she used Zanti, which ours has a little bit of green from our live last week. So she used that yellow 
paired with Bali, which is a nude color. Paired with, I'm gonna leave all these open so that I can show them all together. Paired with Zanzibar. Want me to help you hold them? Yep, maybe. <laughs> and then the last one would be Hawaii. So let's let's hold these up and you'll see that all together, this is gonna make the cutest background of any fall nail you do. Think of leaves that you could draw on the front of them or like the chromed pumpkin, which I promise we'll make a video for. It was just so cute. All types of different designs, but you just rub this directly onto velvet top, which is our no white matte top coat. It is a good yellow. You just rub it in and, you, and they just blend so nice together. You make the background and then you put the art on top. So good. It was so great. So there's my plug for the brand new incredible pigments. Love, love, love them. I love the fact that they're pressed. Yeah. I I'll never get over it. Yeah, it, and they are Genius. so pigmented. One of our Ethniltex made like a sky. So mm -hmm. she went, I can't remember the colors, but she went dark to light okay. from the, so it would be the cuticle down. And then mm -hmm. she put trees at the bottom. And I was like, I can't. So It feels cute. like I'm in the forest. It was so good. So anyway. I'm so excited for our new so educators. Good. Yeah, they were really great. So awesome. So, so good. It looked like it was a good weekend. Yeah, it really was. Okay, so lastly, are my gel colors. First we have All About Mimi, which is an oldie but a goodie. She She's is um, a little bit purple, a little bit wine. Do you want me to pull it out? A little bit grapey, yes please. Uh, so yeah, All About Mimi, it is the season for her. There she just is. Just such a cute color. You can see she just has kind of she's that classy. purple, dark, dark purpley mauve. Yeah, she's kind classy. Of feel. Yeah, she is. Look at Such a good one. Good for all kinds of skin tones. Absolutely. She's good. And then I chose Gypsy Lee. Oh, Gypsy Lee. Yes. For the fall. Mm -hmm. I feel like the Mother Earth collection for the fall. Yes. I mean, we could pull each and every one. Willow Tree, Gypsy yeah. Lee, all of those. Rosemary and Thyme. Absolutely. But They're Gypsy Lee has this shimmer in it. Hopefully you can see. No. Oh. Maybe. The it shimmer has, is beautiful. It has a shimmer in it, but it is like that deeper, dark, um, not emerald. Like a darker sage. A Dark darker, sage. Yeah. Yeah. So, so pretty. Then along with that family is Suwa Diddy. Now this is an oldie but a goodie. Yeah, she is an oldie, but she is a goodie. This goes with your Tinker Tailor where it's that teal color. And this one does have a sparkle to it. I'm trying to find her. It's so pretty. Suwa right, Diddy. Right <laughs> Why am right, I singing right that? that? That's I, what it is. I want to sing the song. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh, she's cute. She's oh, and she has a shimmer in there. Mm -hmm. And if you put her up with Tinker Tailor, like they would, you would put Tinker Tailor down and then you could use this as an ombre going up and it would just fade so nicely and make just beautiful shimmery tips mm -hmm. and then whatever nail art. Um, if we're thinking about, I know it's not yet winter, we're not ready for winter, but think about Tinker Tailor with some Suwa Diddy faded up and then snowflakes or whatever. And it's just such a gorgeous tone of that yes. teal blue. Can't get enough. Perfect. Okay, we have three gorgeous ones. Brandy Snap, Ginger Spice, and Gina G. I'm gonna pull out some of the swatches. Okay. Are these it? Yep. No. Um, they might be on here. Okay, right here. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, first up is Gina G. Gina G has a lot of brown in her. So perfect for this time of year. I'm gonna get her. Gina G. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. She might be more. Mm -hmm. mm, she might be on the neutral one. Let's find her. Gina G's right here. Oh, Gina G. There we go. Gina G. Yep. All of our swatches are all over. So pretty. That so she has so more brown. Pretty. Now holding that up, I'm gonna put ginger spice next to her, and you can, you'll see that ginger spice has a lot more orange. But I feel like I can pull ginger spice out from here. Talk about fall colors. Pair these with the browns that you talked about. Ooh. And then last but not least would be Brandy Snap, which goes right in the middle of the two of them. Yeah. Brandy Snap. She's like... Brandy Snap. She's a goodie. Is she on the neutrals? She's right here. Oh. Uh, Brandy Snap. Yep. Brandy Snap. So let's pair those three together. Can you find all three? Oh, man. I'll help you. Gina, Gina G. G. Uh-huh. Brandy Snap and Ginger Spice right here. Oh, no, yeah, no. that one. Ginger, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you put all three of these together, you'll see like, oh, oh, talk about cute orangey, brownie, everything. Perfect it's for fall. Winner, winner. Should I say it? Yes. 
chicken dinner. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, then I only have two more gel colors to talk about before we say goodbye today. So we have South Carolina. So this was one that the educators worked with. So we were working with the brand new Blooming Lovely Gel and we were working on um, blooming designs. And an educator paired the absolutely stunning bright South Carolina with Rosy Posy as the oh. shimmer. I know, I know. And when you see oh. them like this, you're like, huh? But together, so they good. were perfection. Oh, I wanna see that. It was stunning because she had just enough Rosy Posy running through it, but then that South Carolina was like bright and glittery, then with a little bit of Plain Jane or whatever, maybe a new jude or come with me or a, um, um cat got the cream mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. that that lighter color but oh my gosh it was literally like what is that i had to stop and she was like oh i put rosy posy in there what oh, that's so awesome it's so pretty it was I so pretty love that so i'm gonna remember this combination because i am a bright girl even in the winter so i'm gonna remember yep. This is going to help warm up my South Carolina when I wear it in January. <laughs> I am obsessed with South Carolina. I love it. She's beautiful. Yeah. So, so pretty. Okay, let's see if we missed anything um, chrome teal. A chrome teal would be called Noel, and she's good. Can't get enough of her. Well, she's I'm cute. positive she'll be talked about um, in our favorites for November, December, right around Christmas time. But yeah, Noel is the chrome teal or teal chrome and it is absolutely gorgeous um definitely need a video on tips and tricks for the compact powders okay we'll put one together because it is so good yeah. you need pigment help i promise we'll do one um these pigments are fantastic so just as a quick walk through you're going to put your gel color then wipe off the inhibition layer put on your velvet top give it a 60 second cure and then that's what you're going to rub it into then you're going to gently brush away any excess then you can even um, buff the free edge and then pull on, if you wanted it to be deeper, you could pull on another layer of velvet top. Or if you wanted it to be shiny, you would put all, pull on, okay, if you wanted it to be deeper, another layer of velvet top, then go back in with pigments, do the same thing. Then you can finish with velvet top as your finished gel, or you could use top it off to make it shiny. So yeah, that's a very quick overview, but I promise we'll do a video on it. But buff that free edge. Yeah, buff that free edge before mm -hmm. you put it on. Whenever we're sandwiching a powder, yep. you want to buff that free edge. So that's chrome, pigments, anything like that. Yep. All right. We got through a whole lot of favorites. So many. Yeah. Sarah, thanks for having me. You're very welcome. This was so fun. It was so fun. You can get all of these products at magpiebeautyusa.com or on the Magpie Beauty USA app. And until next week, we next week we will be in the app. So please be sure to turn on notifications because I know that it will be Labor Day, but Rachel and I will be here at 10 o'clock Mountain Daylight Time, and we will be swatching all of our fall favorites. So if you don't want to miss out on that, turn on your notifications for the app and join us at 10 o'clock next week. So have a great week. Bye, guys. Bye.